Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. So first of all, I just wanna let you know in case you didn't already see, I started a brand new series on Battle Cats Unite for Nintendo Switch. We're only a couple episodes in and so far it's been a lot of fun. So if you didn't see that, check it out, link down below. All right, so there's a few things I wanna do today, guys. First of all, we'll just go ahead and get the Wildcat slots. Get a, you know, 777 cat food or something. If you don't mind, please and thank you. Oh my, look at that, guys. I'm so lucky. Well, that's 900 cat food. That's better. And a bonus spin. Okay. Look, I, you always get really good stuff from this, and I love it. One off. Who could, who could believe such a thing? 105 cat food from that, guys. So I got 1,005 cat food just from Wildcat slots, the best way to get cat food in this game. However, we could also get some cat food if I spend my money on it. So today we're gonna get the thank you pack. Always like to get a thank you pack when it's on, guys. 777 cat food and seven rare tickets, uh, buy it. Okay, now we've got 5,953 cat food and 41 rare tickets, not bad. Smash the like button if you don't mind, please, and thank you. What are we gonna do? That's the question. Look at all these things going on. We got Uberfest, there's also Iron Legion, and as per usual, there's Platinum Capsules. I have four Platinum tickets, guys, and I'm thinking of maybe redeeming another one today. But first, let's do some other stuff, okay? Let's do the Battle Cats quiz, the Ultra Quiz. There are 10 questions in this quiz. Get them all correct, and a huge prize will be waiting for you. I don't know if I'm gonna get these all correct. I'm kind of nervous now, man. What, what if I get one wrong and I embarrass myself in front of, in front of all my friends? Everyone have their invitations and passports? Then let's get started with the first question. Question one, the game is titled The Battle Cats. It is, it is called that, right? That, that, that's, that's true. That's just a circle, right? Circle means true. I think I got that right. Are you sure the answer's circle? Let's find out if you're right. The answer is, oh my God, what's with all the ellipses? Correct! Yes, it's the Battle Cats. Even though I don't even call it the Battle Cats, guys. You know this entire series, I've called it Battle Cats because it kind of sounds weird to call it the Battle Cats, right? Uh, Mom, leave me alone, I'm playing the Pokemon. Okay, I'm feeling good now, guys. I'm feeling good because I got one question right and it was super duper hard, okay? I would have turned around and gone home if you got that one wrong. Yeah. Question two. The basic cat unit can be deployed for a low cost. I mean, it's a meat shield. Also, low cost is subjective. Everything is denominated in cents, so you could say it's all pretty cheap. Did you answer circle? You've got a 50% chance, even if you just guess. Enough stalling, the answer is... Ellipsis. Correct again. The basic cat unit is a standard unit that can be sent into battle for cheap. Wow, crazy. Without the basic cat unit, the depths of the battle cats could never be fully explored. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, there probably are times in this game where you really need to have your basic cat for a meat shield, so I'll, uh, I'll accept that. This cute little guy is key to your progress. The basics are important no matter the context. Don't slip up, stay focused. The next question is coming at ya. Oh God. Question three. The Battle Cats is a game that you want to tell everyone about. Well, I don't know guys. I mean, uh, it might be good for everyone to know about Battle Cats because then they'll watch my videos on Battle Cats. I mean, <laughs> the Battle Cats. Yeah, I'm gonna go for true for that one. You've chosen circle, I see. Steal your resolve because here's the answer. It's ellipsis. Correct. It sure would be awesome if you told your friends all about the game. You, viewer, should tell your friends all about Matche, okay? We even have Matche Cat in Battle Cat, so you, you know, you know they should know about it, okay? Oh, the supermarket deli is about to start a half off sale. I think we'll call it for today. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Ah, now that I've filled my belly, I'm off to prepare the next question. See you tomorrow. Really? I have to wait? I thought, I thought I was gonna like, I don't know, have to answer all the questions right now, but apparently not. Fine. Let's talk about this right here. Zombie outbreak at Cats of the Cosmos chapter two. What? 
Yeah, that's the thing now, guys. Apparently, there's there's outbreaks in Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 2. Look at that. I've done one of them, okay? And it was actually a little bit maybe difficult, sort of. The next one's on Titan. I don't... I don't, um, mm. don't want to go in that direction. Oh, my God. That's almost at the end of Cats of the Cosmos, guys. I have no idea what's going to be here. But it's probably not going to be easy. Okay, well, I have an anti-zombie loadout here, guys, and it has this amazing cat in it. Gentleman Bros. I don't know if you remember this guy, but, uh, yeah. He's, he's really something. I put this guy in because I wanted to just have a different barrier breaker than I normally have. I usually use Kitty of Liberty, and I just wanted something different. So we're gonna leave him in, but we might, we might want to put some, like, more, uh, anti-alien things in, perhaps. By the way, guys, I also want to talk about this button over here because it's amazing that they finally added this to the game. Like, in the last, like, year or two, they've added a lot of really nice updates that just make it easier to play this game. And this one here lets you rearrange the order of the cats. You can order it by level, which is amazing because I can just order it by level, go to the end, and all of my best cats will be here, okay? Because because they're ordered by level, and I always put levels into my best cats first. Makes sense, right? Also, guys, it ignores plus levels, which is kind of amazing in my opinion, because I have a lot of cats that are like super duper high level because of the pluses, but I don't actually use them. I'm just getting a lot of levels because I get a lot of them in the rare cat capsules, so I can, uh, I can still see the cats that I use the most because those are the ones that I put cat size into, so that's nice. Maybe we'll take Casley just because. I, I've tried Casley a little more recently, and uh, she, she pretty, she pretty saucy, okay? Also, guys, I have 162 cat CPUs right now, and that's because, well, they're on sale, so I bought a bunch, but why did I want so many? Because now you can use two cat CPUs to skip stages that you've already completed, so I thought that might be fun to just do some grinding without actually having to grind. You know what I mean. Let's go! Wait a minute. There's restrictions on this. I didn't even look and see what they are. I think it's just max 10 cats, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me get let me get back here. Let me take a look. 15. Okay. We're good. Okay, so I've got a holy blast on here, which is gonna be good. Um, I'm hoping that Can 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 get us some extra cash, but that thing didn't even want to die. Okay, and that died. That's good. It's just so, whoa, oh, that's a piggy. I'm worried, guys. The boss of this stage is gonna be something difficult, okay? Because this is a late stage cats of the cosmos level. Guys, look at Gentleman Bros here, just walking up and showing off the goods when he can. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Another spicy cat. Oh my god, what is that? Why does that exist? Kill it! Kill it now! It would actually be kind of nice if you guys killed it, because I'm pretty sure he's not going to be very nice. Uh, Weed Whacker, can you, can you maybe freeze it or something? Before he freezes us, or stops us, or slows us, or something. I don't... Ouch. What? Why did you do that? 1%? No. I refuse. I can do better. Well, at least now we know what's in the stage, okay? And, and this is a, a brand new unit that was added in the previous update. 12.6 maybe. 12.6.1 now. I don't know. It was just added. Okay. Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 2 Zombie Stages. Let's take a look at him. I'm pretty sure he's just a zombie uh, Henry, right? Okay. I wanted to check the original first. Yes, his name is Henry. And the uh, the new one is over here. Uh, Lophiformis Angaburu. Zombie Floating Behemoth. No way. I didn't realize it was all three of those things. It's kind of beautiful. I'm kind of mesmerized. Ah! <laughs> I'm kind of mesmerized by this thing, man. Okay. Um, yeah, that is a really cool unit. Okay. After 10 times failing college entrance exams, gave up on school after learning being undead doesn't require a degree. Still wonders what might have been. Okay, now I need to read the original description as well, guys. Took nine gap years before working up the courage to enroll in college, hoping to major in nuclear physics to better control his particle beams, but dad wants him to study accounting. So he decided that he was just gonna give up on it all and just become a zombie. Uh, yeah, 
I respect it. Okay, so clearly, guys, we should have a Behemoth Slayer here. I think that'd be nice. Let's see who we got. Okay, so there's obviously a few options here, guys. Um, I don't know if I should use Clown Cat. He he also is a, like an anti-zombie. He can slow zombies. But I think mainly Awaken Nala and Courier Cat would be best here. So let's put those two in. Doesn't seem like there are any barriers to break. So we'll go ahead and replace this gentleman. And I don't think we're really going to be able to slow them very much, guys. I don't think that's going to be our best bet here. So we'll take that guy out as well. There you go. Now let's see what we can do. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy. I want to get the money, okay? Give me the money. Shigong, you're too powerful. Can you stop? <laughs> I'm serious, man. Shigong just rips through everything. Let's start bringing out the good stuff here. We got Nala now. And we got Kasli. That's pretty much all I can put out anyway. I guess I'll try and spam some meat shields and some couriers or something. I really wish I didn't use my beam up because now this guy is there. And he's going to be an issue. At least I have Shigang. Okay. I had Shigang. Shigang, I need you again. Please, please help keep Kasli alive. That'd be really nice. By the way, where's that other guy? Oh, he's back here, huh? Well, apparently he's having a tough time. I love it. Okay, let's just go ahead and destroy the base. Don't worry about the enemies. <laughs> Okay, well, hey, that, that works for me. That's almost one of the good things about the zombies. When they burrow, sometimes it just leaves them open. So, yeah, and I, I don't know what the heck zombie behemoth floating Henry was doing over here because apparently it wasn't much. Okay, so update on Luza. You know, the cat that I'm trying to get with behemoth gems that's taken a long time. It's still taking a long time. I am getting there though. I'll show you how many behemoth gems I have. Well, these are the red ones. So let's go ahead and just uh, grow a couple of stones into gems so we at least have them. And by the way, I apparently have a lot of purple ones. I have 18 stones and three gems, so I'm doing good there. So the purple, I'm good. I need two of each color. So purple is good, uh, red is good, and blue is good. We need two greens, so I guess maybe I'll just grow one now just so I can say I have one of them. And I need two yellows, and that's the that's the part that's really got me bummed out, okay? Because yellow stones are so friggin' hard to get, okay? I got like, I think a couple of purple stones by beating a purple gems, not stones, basically the equivalent of 20 stones. I got that from beating like one hunter's map and then the continuation from that hunter's map. So the problem that I have guys is with the yellow stones, okay? I'm gonna get the rest of the greens. I'm not worried about that, but the yellow ones are really hard to get. Okay, here are the treasures for purple stone forest. As you can see, you, you're probably gonna get about five stones from that one. For the green stone one, you get two, three, or four. So it's definitely not as good. For red, you get four, five, six. So that one is like the first one. Blue, you get two, three, four. So again, not, not great, but doable. And then for yellow, you get one or two. That's it. What is wrong with you, Ponos? So if you beat any stage in Hunter's Map 4, there's a 40% chance you'll get the continuation of it. And there are five different continuation uh, stages depending on which one you just did. So the question is, what do you get from a Yellow Crystal Volcano? If you're lucky enough to actually get to Yellow Crystal Volcano, it turns out there's a 50% chance you'll get a Yellow Behemoth Gem. But there's also a 50% chance all you get is one stone, and the one time I actually beat this level, that's what I got. And I was obviously pretty disappointed, but I feel a little bit better knowing that there's a 50% chance you actually get a gem, which is 10 times better than a stone. So hopefully, guys, like within the next few weeks, I'll have everything I need to evolve Ape Lord Luza. And of course, as you guys probably already know, we can't actually continue Zero Legends until we get Ape Lord Luza because this stage is too difficult without him. And apparently once you get him, it's easy. By the way, guys, I have a couple of new cats as well that I forgot to tell you about. Mystic Egg N005. This one evolves into Hitman Cat. Gains long range attacks and immunity to wave attacks. I don't know if this guy is any good, but he is not getting my stones, okay? They're very, very precious. 
If anyone's getting my stones, and this is not happening until after the whole loses situation is taken care of, it's gonna be Supercar Cat. This is apparently the second best egg evolution you can do after Courier Cat. We all know Courier Cat is the best, okay? It's not even a question. This guy in his true form has a guaranteed chance to pierce slash break shields and barriers. So it's basically like a better version of Kitty of Liberty mixed with a better version of Aku Researcher. It's gonna be really good. I think I also have a super rare egg here somewhere that I just got. This one, maybe? Yeah, this one. Uh, so this one evolves into Soap Cat. True Form Evolution reveals its final form, also gains Behemoth Slayer. Doesn't really say anything about it. Uh, it's tough versus aliens. It is apparently a pretty decent like anti-alien unit, but I don't know if I need it anytime soon. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, and that goes for anything that I say in this video. Okay, Downpour Jungle Area 16. Don't know what's in here, but I think what I'm gonna do is just take my loadout from Downpour Jungle Area 15 and try it out, see what happens. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I feel like a cheater whenever I take this guy to uh, a battle, but King of Destiny Fonoa is just, he's so good. He is just ridiculously good in like every situation. It's nutty. Okay, so we got zombies here. Hopefully we can do something about these zombies. Oh no, it's cool, come on out. This stage looks an awful lot like the uh, mining epic stage, guys. Not that hard so far. Let's send out a Fonoa. Never mind, because the thing died. The boss is dead, I think we're good. I thought this might have been like, at least a little bit difficult, you know? But that's fine. Blue stone, yay! So happy about that, it's just what I needed. What is this? Affliction in the forest. What's an affliction in the forest? Sharp tooth death fish. Oh, fun, that's, that's great. You get one clear of this stage, which is fine. I won't bother looking anything up, but what the hell is it? It's a behemoth stage, that's all I know, okay? It's one of those stages that gets added to your list of unique stages you've completed and then you get uh, new eggs or something. Bring on the death fish. Oh my God, it's him again. I'm not surprised, guys. I figured that's what the sharp tooth death fish was. <laughs> but it, you know, that's that's cool with me because we haven't spent enough time with this guy. I mean, look at him. He's uh, he's a sight to behold, guys. He, he died, sort of. I mean, he's not dead, of course. He's back to life already. Good job, buddy, good job. And now he's dead. Okay. You know, you guys could have made this difficult if you wanted. For now, I'll just, oh my God. Another one? What the heck are you doing, bro? I was about to say, for now, I'll just rely on Fonoa to get stuff done for me because he does a, such a good job with things like this uh, Aku Anteater. But yeah, I didn't realize there was gonna be another one of these guys, but it's cool because he's, he's dying. Uh, that was probably the last one. We should be able to hopefully get this guy killed now. It is taking a little while. We need a Behemoth Slayer. Here we go. Come on. Don't go getting hurt. Okay, that was just a, another... Oh, God, really? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Get back out of here! Okay, this is a, a bit of an issue now, guys, because of the fact that we have... Um, we, 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 they're really close to the base. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, you know why that's a bad time. Oh, okay. It was all going so well and you had to ruin it all. 11%. No continues, huh? Okay, I'll just try again or something. Honestly, let's get rid of this guy. I don't think he's gonna do much, especially, you know, with the... They got these little shields that come up. You know, they're like, oh, don't don't bother trying to do that. We don't we don't play by those rules. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get Doron in here. You know what, while I'm at it, I should probably get another shield piercer. If we can, if we can pierce that shield, uh, things will be better, you know? We don't, we don't want this guy to be standing up with a shield on. Uh, I think we'll just use Cat Researcher for this and we'll replace Pizza who was not doing a ton, I don't think. I mean, he, he's good against some things, but in this case, I think, uh, I think he was just getting killed by the Anteater. That's our big issue. So maybe, maybe Cat Researcher can, can break that. 
Worst thing about the stage is they don't actually give you any time. Like, uh, there, there's a timer, and then once that runs out, the boss comes out. There he is. Took you no time at all, my dude. Here, have one of these. I know you want it. Bo oh, wait, what was that? Boom, there you go. Oh, get surged, baby! And that's death number one. Did you hear that shield get pierced, guys? Already? Love that. I love that for us. Probably could have sent out Fonoa first, but I decided that I wanted to send out Gaia instead. It's all good. Everyone loves a good legend rare. Boom, get it. Pew! That's working really well, guys. I mean, Cat Researcher is good. It's not a guaranteed chance to break the shield, but it is a high chance. It's gonna be nice having Supercar, though. That thing is uh, gonna be pretty lit. Okay, we did it. We killed him. So, obviously, it went a lot better having... Uh, Doron and the Shield Piercer. I actually think that Cat Researcher is the one that made all the difference here. It basically lets you skip a bunch of damage because if you can pierce the shield with a shield pierce, you don't need to pierce it with a whole bunch of damage. Okay, thank you very much, Sharp Tooth Deathfish. What a good time that was. Thank you for the 30 Cat Buddha and the leadership. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that stage counted towards our next egg and 109. We now have 42 out of 45 stages complete for that one. And then we get another one after we do 50. Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure something good is coming in the Iron Legion really soon. So we're gonna do a bunch of draws today. But first, I'm gonna complete the October Gauntlet. Or, or I guess it's October Gauntlet 1, right? Because there's a second one for the second half of the month. But either way, I'm gonna do it. It's called Sports Day. It's not that complicated at all. I'm pretty sure I could probably do this with two cats. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this with two cats. Why have more when you can have less? Am I right, guys? Ramen and Courier. They're gonna do it. I'm pretty sure there's a chance Courier could solo this by himself. He's such a good cat, but we'll, we'll let you have a little help. Boop. Boop. Okay, so. This dog is strong enough to kill a courier, guys. Can you believe it? That's okay. That's what that's what a little uh, a little help is for. Okay, that's what the ramens are for, so that courier doesn't have to die right away. Cory, you silly boy, what are you doing here? Get out of here! I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw some cats at you. Okay, I'm gonna throw some black cats at you, and it's gonna suck. Oh, there's a deploy limit on this stage, huh? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't have put out so many, uh, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I wouldn't have put out so many ramens. Platinum shard, eh? Ooh, okay. Working towards my next platinum ticket, baby. Uh, let's just keep doing that, okay? It's probably not gonna get much more difficult. I'm learning. Now, I only have a few ramens. And everything else gets to be a courier. And as you can see, it works just fine. I got a Cadman B for this one and a superior stage, okay. That could be Hunter's Map 4, guys. There's like a 50% chance it's Hunter, Hunter's Map 4. 40% chance that that Hunter's Map brings you to a continuation and a 50% chance from there that you get what you actually want. So, <laughs> may luck be on my side. How is this even a gauntlet? Aren't gauntlets supposed to be difficult? Corey, can you explain to me what the heck is going on here? Because I'm a little bit confused. Don't even, Don't even worry about it. Okay, last stage in the gauntlet, guys. Of course, there is a second half to this gauntlet, but obviously the first half is not very difficult. I've decided to go even crazier, okay? We are now using only one cat. We're gonna we're gonna do it, just Courier. I don't know, maybe, maybe he'll fail. Maybe. The only problem we're gonna have is this dog, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this, this dog could ruin us. But it won't. We'll kill it. Come on, dog. You got, it. okay, dog is dead, but now we got an, another one. Okay, so that, again, issue, but hopefully the, the dog goes away. Come on. Yeah, so so we can't do this with just Courier because of the dog. We killed the one, but it's probably gonna, well, I don't know. If we can just move him back and get the double Couriers on the go. Come on, come on, double Couriers. You can do this. Yeah, okay, now we got an army of Couriers, and that's all we got, because this is the only thing we brought. 17,000 damage left on the base. I almost lost, guys. But Courier did it. He soloed October Gauntlet number one. Thank you for the rare ticket, buddy. All right, time to do some draws. Let's see what we get here, guys. Big money, big money, let's go. 
Got a Viking. Shaman. Pirate. Rover. Metal Cat. Pogo Cat. Archer Cat. None of these cats matter to me, man. Cutter Cat. Never heard to have another one of those, I guess. Pile Driver. Rover. Surfer. And a Platinum Shard. Sad. I wanted more. Okay, now I have to sit here and do these one at a time, guys. So just bear with me, okay? First up, we got ourselves a Pogo Cat. Spin it up again. Next up, we got a Gunslinger. A Delinquent Cat. A Pogo Cat. A Rover Cat. A Kotatsu Cat. I think we're close, guys. I think, I think we're close. It's almost time. Apple Cat, come on. Give me something good. Let's go, let's go. What is that? It's a new legend rare! Mighty Crystal Mew. I've never even heard of this one before, guys. Until today. What is it? Mighty Crystal Mew. A pulsing gem focuses mystic forces into an unstable but insanely powerful blast. Omni Strike, Wave Shield, and High Defense Slash Attack versus Zombies. So it's an anti-zombie wave shield, huh? Okay, insane damage, you'll love to see it. So guys, I'm not even gonna put any upgrades or anything in this today, I, uh, I have it, and in a future episode, we'll give it some levels and see if it's any good. All right, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to check out the Battle Cats Unite series, and if you wanna watch another one of my videos, you can click right here.